Hey, what's up, guys? So, after the Guilty Gear Strive beta test, which was, I don't know, last month, I forget. It was pretty fun. But everyone had the feedback form. You had Obama. He went and he had, like, a mental breakdown. He was crying on his stream, filling out the form and everything. But they got everyone's different opinions and everything. So they put out this cool little kind of, like, summary where they, you know, shared the data and they talked about it. So uh, if you read it, that's fine. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's just go through it real quick. Guilty Gear Strive. Developer's background, and I like this right off the bat. This is first volume. When I read that, I was like, oh, sweet. You know, I feel like up until now, they've been doing a very good job of communicating the development process. They've talked about how they want feedback, how they want to work together with the community. They want to change all this stuff. So I said it before. I'll say it again. I'm happy with the approach, like the very open approach that they're taking. All right. Thank you. Da, 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 da. So now this is just the breakdown of the, the stats right here. So... Have you played a Guild of Your game before? 95% said yes, and then 54% said it was their favorite fighting game. I, I remember when I filled it out, I said I'd never played a Guild of Your game, didn't I? I said I never played a Guild of Your before. I tried to do the meta, I tried to get the new fan approach. But yeah, uh, so here, have you ever played a Guild of Your game before? 95%, favorite fighting game, 54%. I wish they had, I wish they had one more question that said, do you play Guilty Gear now? What percent do you think that would be, guys? I, I, I would say two. Maybe two percent. But yeah, anyway. So most used character. Uh, you know, no surprises here. Soul Kai Mei. Three of the easiest characters there. The protag and everything. Uh, most requested character. This uh, has already been going around on Twitter. Everyone's talking about this. So it's kind of interesting. I don't want to go through the whole thing. But if you look at... Let's just look at the top three. So Japan, or sorry, sorry, uh, America, Asia, Europe, all biking. They all want biking number one, Johnny number two, Dizzy number three. Jam number, and then a Asia and Europe are identical. But look at that. Biking Johnny Dizzy, biking Johnny Dizzy, biking Johnny Dizzy. Right? That's wild. I don't, hold on. And then real quick, then you look at Japan. Number one's Bridget, Johnny Ramathal. So again, I don't, I don't buy this at all. I don't buy this whatsoever. I think it's conspiracy. I think it's a conspiracy. You like I play I play Guilty Gear. I still play Guilty Gear. I played Guilty Gear before Biken was out. I played it or we'll just talk about Strive. I played sorry, let's talk about Exit. I played Exit before Biken was out. All people did was cry about Biken. Where's Biken? Where's Biken? Where's Biken? No Biken, no Biken, everything. I played when she was announced. I played when she was released. I played after she was released, and I'm still playing today. No one plays this character. There are no bike in play. There's like three of them. I'm not buying it. And I, the same with Bridget. I don't agree. With, I, I think it's all it's, it's fake news. I don't buy it. Johnny, yes. Everyone likes Johnny. Who doesn't like Johnny? Everyone likes Johnny. But looking at these, again, I don't want to go through every single one, but my boy Leo, that's who I put down. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found. No Leo. But I will say Japan does have some good taste. Japan, the only country to have order soul there up in number five. Will this affect who they're going to put in the game? I don't really think so. You know, I'm pretty sure they already have their idea. But here, this was, this was the most interesting part of the chart, or the whole thing was this, for me, was the feedback. So if you remember, you had to give everything a score of 1 to 5 on how you felt on these different aspects. And we did it on stream, we were talking about it, and some of them were really obvious some of them weren't. So let's look. Online lobbies. Yeah, we knew that. It was horrible. 1.5. The UI HUD design. We knew. Most people don't like it. Two and a half. That's, I think that's what I put. Online matches. You know, you couldn't really play them. Again, under under average or below average. The music. Even though I personally don't like the music. Everyone liked the music. So, of course, high scores. Animations are beautiful. High scores. The visuals, almost perfect. The one that really got us kind of trying to decide was the battle system the gameplay you know so what's going on here i got every day i got 50 dudes on twitter just coming at me bro they killed guilty gear no nobody likes guilty gear everyone is angry the fans are are furious you can't even call it guilt gear this is not even a, a guilty gear game they should just call it street fighter battle system look at that three and a half is it a five no is it is it a one like every one is trying to make it seem like I don't know 3.5 and uh, we get some feedback and grow from here sounds good to me 3.6 even I, I'll get it looks like a 3.7 to me now if you really if you really zoom in on that that looks 
That looks. That might be a 3.8. That could, that's pushing a 3. Point, that's a, that might as well be a four. I think we should call that a four. Damn, the bat the battle system got a four. That's crazy. Nah, but for real, all the doom and gloom. Yeah, is the battle system perfect? Absolutely not. Are there things I want changed? Yeah, of course. A lot of things I want to get changed. If you don't like this game, if you think it's shit, that is 100% fine. You know, everyone has their own taste. It's all up to you. My problem was when people speak. I used to get angry when I would watch like Harada deal with the the random the random bums on on Twitter, where they say stuff like, "We want Zafina. The Tekken community wants Zafina," and Harada would be like. Don't ever say the Tekken community. Don't ever say we. He's like, he's like, we are like the producers. We actually have the data. We know the numbers and everything. So everyone who is not everyone, but you know, a lot of people that are against Strive, they they speak with the we, right? I always get the the tweets. They always talk about the Guilty Gear fans, the Guilty Gear community. We, the Guilty Gear fans hate Guilty Gear Strive. The Guilty Gear fans, uh, the the devs. Just turn their back on the Guilty Gear fans. Really? I mean, some data, I don't know, but we can, we can just call it fake news. Let's just pretend it's fake news. It was actually a one. It was probably actually a one. No one actually liked it, but. Uh, answers to your concerns from the developers. So here's where they go through all the complaints, you know, because everyone had complaints. So this is where they kind of, they go back and forth. And then people have been angry about this too, with the way they dealt with the complaints. Again, I want to just point out, this is, you know, the people creating the game are saying, thank you. We read all of your feedback. Uh, we want to keep working on it. So again, this this communication between the, the developers and the team and the community is great. I love to see it. But this is the bad one. Let's enhance this one. You know, I like enhancing things now. Yes, this is very important. This game is not intended to be a continuation of previous titles, as in Exert. You know, it's not Exert. This is not, you know, the last Guilty Gear. It's a new game. This is Strive. The basis of our development is to create everything to be completely new i hope you can keep that in mind as you read on so again they said it before they said it in interviews they said it a hundred times I, I don't know how many times we have to be like look this is guilty gear strive this is a new game they're starting something brand new now give me my i want my blitz back i want everything back i want exert three just make rev three or i'm not buying tragic but anyway here we go these are the the individual points so concern the damage is too high yeah i i agreed with this i wrote it down too i felt like the damage was too high but not that high damage was was bad. It was just too much. I think I said I wanted to remove like 20% of what it was. You know, four wild throws instead of three to kill you. But their response is that a sender ID behind the titles, they can do big damage without mesmerizing long combos. Yeah, that is how other games are kind of moving to now. Uh, but it was a bit too high. So I'm happy that they said this right here. So Kazuno says they made the damage extreme in the beta uh, test to get that idea across and then we'll be adjusting it carefully by looking to player feedback So yeah, I think the damage will get lowered, but I think it's still gonna be a high damaging game There are fewer Gatling combo routes. So this is I think one of the biggest complaints This is what has everyone saying this is not guilty gear like there's no Gatling combos. It's not guilty gear What about all these other things? No, 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 no Gatling no guilty gear. All right so the Gatlings were removed, you know and they were harder. That That's something I said. That's something everyone said is that the new system was harder. You know, because when you get you, Gatling, you can just kind of press any button and it works. Just da 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 But this new system is you have your kind of strings locked into each other. Like this button can go to this button. This one can go to that one. It was for having zero muscle memory and just playing the beta. It was hard to pick up here. Uh, Scottano says da 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 da. They've made restrictions on that, so it's more difficult to combo into damaging moves from fast, small, normal moves, okay? By doing so, Venus greater emphasis on choosing which normal move you start your combo based on the situation and your goal at the time. Uh, the change makes it difficult to put experience, yeah, so we know about that, you know, your previous experience doesn't carry over. Uh, in addition, we've heard the opinion that being able to get a combo by pressing each button, strive is more difficult, yeah. That, that's what I don't get though. So Strive is more difficult in that aspect. They keep talking about new players, you know, new players making game more accessible. This is clearly difficult and the devs know it's more difficult, but so this this was good. Up in all this stuff, I was just like, what's going on? All this stuff was like a bunch of none, like nothing. They're just like, choose the button you want to press. But here they talk about, they're going to continue to adjust what moves combo into what. 
including the differences for each character by looking at the game from various viewpoints. Uh, not only for Gatlings, but follow the and combos in general. So you can expect some more stuff to be coming out there. Also, we are, are playing to further increase the level of freedom with combos compared to previous entries in the series. While well, seeming contradictory to the reduced lane of combos, I believe we can make this happen with a combination of other mechanics. So this is what I don't get. So they talk about other mechanics. The only other mechanic in the game is the RC system, right? During Evo Japan, they really emphasized the RC system. I remember he was telling everyone, like, the RC system, the RC system. This is, like, what you have to get good at using. So we'll see. And then down here, look, right? Even in the closed beta test, there were many combo routes available. Unfortunately, only a limited number of routes are effective due to the extreme damage, right? So our goal moving forward development, including our work on overall game balance, is to make a game where each player can have a distinctive play style. So this is, you know, everyone always talks about that. If that's their goal, that is something everyone always says they want. Will they accomplish it? Only time will tell. But right, this is uh, this is what people always use when they talk about Guilty Gear, right? What's that stupid ass quote? It's it, it's like playing Guilty Gear is like playing jazz or something. It's like you can't even tell the players apart. It's a, but it's like when you play Guilty Gear, every player has their own, every player has their own like style or something. So if the, if the devs know this, hopefully it'll come true there. They talk about adding more combos. They talk about adding more Gatlings, I think. Not, not can't really call them Gatlings, but adding more chains. But we'll see. But you like, you're not getting the old Gatling system back. It's gone. You can either just accept it and be like, all right, it's a new game, or I don't know, you can keep playing whatever you're playing. Anyway, the 3D camera movement disrupts the game pace. I didn't know what this was at all. I didn't know this was a complaint, but then I remember seeing some people saying that they got motion sickness. I remember seeing that during the beta. They talked about how they want to try out new movement with the 3D camera, but he's like, yeah, but some people got motion sickness, so we're gonna try and find something that, you know, makes the game comfortable for people to play. But they still want to try something new, right? This is what I like to see for everything. Let me just say it like now, but all the people saying like, they're not listening, they're not listening, they're not listening. They are listening. Every response, they, they're listening, they're like, okay, we hear your complaint, we're gonna try and adjust it, we're gonna try and do something, but we still are going to do this, right? We're making a new game, we're trying to do all this new stuff, and if you have a complaint about, you know, this, or we'll try and adjust it, but we're still, at the end of the day, we're still gonna be doing this specific new thing right there. So the effect on counter hit impacts the game's pace, player inputs and visibility. That's the, the big counter thing. So the big counter thing I thought was just like a fatal counter. But I guess people said it impacts the game's pace. So again, we're listening to it and we're gonna improve and see what can have it's more comfortable and fun. I like the counter thing, but I guess enough people didn't like it. The whole point of the big counter is it's like a mortal counter or a fatal counter as in the game slows down. So maybe the zoom made people sick, I don't know. But the idea is that when you have that counter, you have that little pause where it's like, oh, it's like an auto confirm for you. The wall break I thought was whack, but again, that, I hope that animation gets better, the wall break. But anyway, the UI, this is where people got angry. Or this is where everyone's always angry. But this one, people got really angry at. And I, I had to be like, oh, okay, I can kind of, I can see that one. So right, they talk about the UI. So I'd like to explain that our idea is beyond the user interface during the match. You may have the burst icon moves as the health bar drains in order to minimize the amount of eye movement required to check each gauge. So this is, uh, when, after playing the beta, while I was playing the beta, I talked about it. Even though this is awkward, you know, you get used to it immediately. You play fighting games where you're not used to it moving across there, but once you played the game, had it in your hands, it was no problem at all. But again, it was kind of like there's no problem before. There's no problem before. So then they're going to try and change it. That was already like one problem that people never, I never heard people complain about. There's too, you know, it's too hard to see the health bar if it's not moving, but the next comedy makes. The hit counter is so big because in previous games, it's been difficult to see the number of hits due to being hidden by the character miles and vice versa. This is an attempt to fix that. When has that ever been a problem? I've never heard that in my life ever from anybody. Just be like, if he just said, we thought it looked cool. It's like, we thought it looked cool, so we did. I think it's cool. I think the big one is cool. After it gets to 10, it's too big. But up until 10 is fine. Just say, uh, 
we think it's that's the design we're going with. Hold that. But no, they, they try to make a, a weird problem, so I, I don't know what that is. But again, however, we've seen many opinions looking critically at the user interface and visibility design, and we're seriously considering everyone's comments. Our team is discussing these critical issues to create the finalized design. So once again, we are listening to what you said, and we are discussing and we're going to think about what to do. About the lobbies, so the lobbies everyone complained about. Concerning the online lobby has errors. We can just skip that. We knew it was bad. They're like, yeah, we, we, we fucked up. I like, I like they just apologize. Like, we're sorry. The lobby was horrible. Not not the, the system. The system was bad too, but like you could even play a game right there. But anyway, they're like, we're sorry about that. It wasn't ready. Uh, the lobby design though. So this, they, they talk about, you know, everyone was talking about how we just want to have the old Guilty Gear lobby, the 3D animated models that they have in all the other games. This got me kind of worried. I, not worried, but I was like, come on, man. I don't, who cares about that? But the reason why they're going with this pixel art style, they said like 2D pixel art in a 3D, is because uh, it's necessary to create new mechanics and fun that wasn't possible with the 3D avatars we used previously. Like soccer was fun, fun to just walk around and kick while you're killing time. But did, was there ever a Guilty Gear Exit soccer tournament? I don't know. But yeah, they're gonna be, the reason why they're doing this instead of the classic style, everyone's wondering, you know, everyone was always like, why aren't they just using their old lobby it's because they have new games in store we're gonna find out soon uh the ui design and this is how they close it this is very good uh like they close on a good note again do not listen uh, regarding user face in general we see many comments that design isn't rock enough rest assured we will make it rock All right that was the big thing it's not guilty gear doesn't have the doesn't have the rock and roll spirit or anything it's like rest assured don't worry uh, so anyway, about future developers' backyard volumes, they're going to be doing more of these, which is great. So more communication, more communication like that. And then upcoming events. So they have two more events in June. Or not two more, but two events in June. We'll be showing new footage. Summer of Gaming, which is next week. And then New Game Plus Expo on the 23rd, which is new footage. They also announced they're going to reveal a new character. Yeah, no mention of Jukebox mode. But yeah, so that is just, you know, it's the feedback of the uh, the feedback of the feedback we gave them. And the remarks that I got on Twitter, you know, people, it's, it's always, you know, people that are, are positive or happy, usually quiet, people that are angry, very loud kind of thing. So all of the, the people that were, were coming at me and all the people in the chat that are memeing, it's always like, they're not listening, they don't care. Not listening, they don't care. Again, let's just go back. So again, at the top, right here, they talk about, all right, we want to communicate with you and get feedback and listen to everyone. Uh, thank you everybody for giving feedback. We read it all and we here's the data we had from there. We saw all of your opinions. We will answer some of your opinions and concerns here. Hey, thank you for doing the survey. We've had each member of the development staff look at your survey answers. We'll keep it in mind today. We're gonna respond to your comments. The damage is too high, that's the concern. Here's response. We're going to be adjusting it. Okay, you're right. There are a few Gatling rounds. Again, they explain this is the, the path we are going with. You know, it's a new game is what we're going with. But, you know, we're going to adjust the combos. We're going to adjust all that. And we're going to adjust this. You know, our end game is going to try and make something so we can just think. Again, did you complain? Okay. This is what we're going to make, but we're going to try and add more stuff too. We're going to do that. The camera movement disrupts the game phase. Again, this is, you know, this is our, our goal, this is our design plan, but we have complaints from you guys. We're gonna listen, we're gonna ingest it, we're gonna do that. The user interface, again, same thing. They explain why they did all this stuff. However, we received many opinions that weren't happy, so we're gonna look it over and we're gonna try and adjust it for the final design. The lobby design, this one where they're just like, nah, you gotta hold that. But <laughs> uh, they're like, we had complaints, but we couldn't show you why. Please wait and we'll show you why. Once they show it, then we can complain and we'll be like, give it back to 3D Lobby. And then the UI design, again, people complained. Don't worry, we're gonna make it raw. So literally every single issue that was brought up, not, I know there's a lot other issues too, but every single issue they mentioned, brought up in here, they listened to, they said they're gonna adjust, they're gonna change, things like that. So I don't know where that idea that they just ignored everything like they don't care. You have to listen too, right? That's the thing. It's like, you can't just yell, yell, yell and be like, all right, 
do everything I say. Like you have to listen to they said they're gonna be making a new damn game. They're doing something brand new. It's a uh, not a continuation of Exert. It's not a continuation of Accent Core or whatever game you played before. It strives a brand new game. Yeah, this is only the first one too. So I'm looking forward the last time we talked about it, we talked about the delay. The game's coming out early 2021, which could be like a, a year from now. You never know when early 2021 is, but I'm looking forward to just kind of like the back and forth. In June, they're going to put out a new one of these like uh, developer trailer things. I should look at what Japan is saying as well. But yeah, I, I'm happy again. People, before we talked about people chat, like, oh, that's it. This is it. Juna can't chill for Strive anymore. Not after, not after uh, this article. What, what did you read in this article? That got you so angry. I still don't understand. But again, that's why I make these videos. So everyone on YouTube, of course, the comment section is open right down at the bottom. I, just like Ishutari reads all your, your complaints and your comments, I also read all of yours. So if you're trying to, if you want to cry to somebody, if you're very angry, you don't want to yell at, post up the YouTube comment, I'll read it. And even if I don't respond, I'll give you a heart and a thumbs up. But we'll see.